<laughs> I was gonna sit in my backyard and like enjoy the landscape, but there's so many trees like surround, like you can see them here, like surrounding like my house property that there's like pollen everywhere. So we're here now. My neighbors are gonna think like, I'm like locked out of my house or something. I don't know. Anyway. All right, so we're gonna do like 20 facts that like you didn't know about me. Um, oh my, God, my nose is already running from the pollen. Oh my God, maybe I should go inside. All right, we're just gonna bang this out real quick. All right, so I kind of just like, wanted to do a video. Dapper Diane told me that this might be a good idea because like maybe my viewers like don't know me. Anyway, I just came back from Starbucks. I went at like six o'clock in the morning because I didn't go to sleep last night because I was doing finals. Well, work for finals. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I was gonna sit in the parking lot of Starbucks and I thought like, oh, that might be a little weird. I did go through the drive-thru. I did wear a mask. I did wear gloves. I, I sold this whole cup down. Yeah, I don't know if we can like show that. All right, before we get started, I just looked, my name on the cup says D, I don't even, Dira, Dira, D-E-R-E-A. The person at the drive-thru asked me how to, what my name was. I said it three times. And like, I'm like totally like, this like doesn't bother me, but I just think it's funny. Asked me three times and asked me how to spell it. D-E-R-E-K. She spelled it, or they, I don't know. D-E-R-E-A. Kind of looks like diarrhea. Ugh. All right, anyway. All right, so if any of my neighbors see me, they're literally gonna think I'm crazy for like talking. I literally have my phone like popped up on like a potted plant. <laughs> All right, so one, let's see. These are just like weird random facts. Um, what, let's see. Look at this bird like climbing on my neighbor's roof. All right, one, I drive a Jeep Cherokee. Um, two, my first car was a Camaro, but the sports car life wasn't really catching up to me that much anymore. And where I go to school, it's kind of on a mountain. So if I decide to like take my car there, it's like horrible. And that was such a low car. Anyway, back to the point. Fact number three, I love Lady Gaga. She's the best artist and I will marry her regardless of what anybody says. Um, I also like Billie Eilish, as you can see from the hat, but Lady Gaga is my go-to girl. Um, number four, I am the favorite cousin. You can ask anybody in my family. I am the cousin everybody wants to be with. Um, I'm always like popping out and I have a really big family. My Two of my grandparents were both, one was one of 12 and one was one of 13, so on like separate sides, so my family's pretty big. Um, what is that, number four? Number five, I am majoring in fashion design and marketing. Number six, I'm allergic to tree bark, very weird, yeah. I literally like went for like the prick test up my arm and I'm allergic to tree bark and grass. That was number five. Number six, I'm a Capricorn. Yes, and fact number seven is I'm obsessed with making money. I will work so hard anytime. I know I'm getting a dollar. <laughs> I'm a true Capricorn, all my friends say it. Um, number eight, my go-to drink from Starbucks, if I don't know what I want, is an ice cream tea with peppermint and vanilla. Kind of weird, but I really like it. Kind of tastes like a ginger drink. If you know those yellow drinks, it's kind of like that, but a little bit less on the ginger side. Um, I think we're up to number eight. Number eight. Am I looking around to see? Um, number eight, I am obsessed with my brands. This is like an limited edition Louis. Um, I like the portfolio. So did I just open that and show you all my information? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm obsessed with Louis. Um, I think these are called the portfolio wallets or something, but I like it. I put my money back here, put all my cards in all these slots that I'm not going to show you, but I love my good brands. Um, yes, I am definitely a collector and waste so much money on those brands, but I love them. Um, but don't get me wrong, I will still use, um, like any kind of other brand most of the time. My friends laugh at me because I'm very picky. Um, number nine. Alright, number nine is I am obsessed with Harry Potter. Like, I was raised on Harry Potter. I am a true Potterhead. 
Potter head. Not anything else that you thought Potter, like Harry Potter. That's what they called, I guess, that um, culture, like, obsess. You have no idea. Um, number 10, let's see. Number 10 is that I have a pug. I think you guys might already know that, but I love her so much. Her name is Lola. You'll get to meet her one day. Maybe I'll, like, put her in at the end of this video. I don't know. Number 11, I guess, is that my favorite color is, like, gold. I like gold, black, white, and red. Um, but I also like my pops of color. As you can tell, I am very, like, into my colors. Like, if something's popping, like this, or, like, my hat, I am definitely for it. Um... That was number 11. Number 12. Oh, number 12 is I love a good slide. Um, my cousin Suzanne actually introduced me to Birkenstocks a few years ago, and I'm actually wearing them now. Oh. Um, I will either wear Birkenstock slides or my Gucci slides. Um, I have like a few pairs. Um, I really don't. Look like a bird just walked up to me. <laughs> um. And you hear the birds chirping, obviously. Um, I will wear, like, any kind of slide. Like, I'm not like that. But mostly those two. I do have <laughs> my shower school... Shower... <laughs> shower school? My shower shoes for school were, um, like, Adidas slides. Like, they were just something I picked up. Um, number 13. Number 13, I had braces for a year. One month and 22 days to a T. I remember that. <laughs> um, number 13. Number 13 was probably um, that I got to go to work with my mom every day for, I want to say like six or seven years. I started going to elementary school. My mom like decided to go back to work and she worked in the same school as me. So every day we would go to work together. Well, every day we would go to school together and then every day we would leave together. So that was kind of fun. And I remember like on the last day we were like crossing the crosswalk and I was like, mom, is this the last time we were doing this? And she got like all upset, but like, you know, I was going to middle school and yeah. And <laughs> it's just a crazy story. Number three, I think we're up to 14, 14. Maybe I'll throw in a little bonus too. Number 14. Yeah, 14. Is that I have green eyes. I don't know if you can tell. I have green eyes. Number 15. It's actually really cold out. That's the fact. I'm no, just kidding. Number 15. Favorite season is fall. Even though I am like a true winter baby. And I love the snow. It always. Oh, I got another one, a good fact for number 16. But number 15, my favorite season is this fall. Um, I am a true, like, winter baby. Like, I do love a good snowstorm. I do like spring, too. Like, it's not bad besides, like, pollen. But even, like, in the fall, I have allergies. It's weird. And summer's always good because it's, like, the perfect time to work. <laughs> fact number 16. No. Yeah, 16. I gotta, like, write these down, maybe. I don't know. This is my right hand to god i swear every single year on my birthday it snows you can ask literally anybody in my family or my close friends it snows on my birthday excuse me oh green tea is like working on me <laughs> um but yeah it snows every year on my birthday it's so weird i've never had school canceled on my birthday like it's like not that bad like the sun will definitely stick or like it will like do a little bit of a flurry it's super weird but hopefully the tradition continues i love it um it's always like a good photo op too <sighs> number eight seventeen um my first concert ever was casey and the sunshine band in universal studios in florida really weird we went one year like during mardi gras and KC and the Sunshine Band was performing. I don't know if you guys know who they are, but if you have like parents who like grew up in like the 80s, I think it was like 70s, 80s. Um, he sings that song, I'm your like boogeyman. And um, what else does he sing? Well, I'm your boogeyman, I'm your boogeyman. Yeah, that song. Um, number 18. Let's see, number 18. Number 18 is that I did work for a company that had 
a lot of celebrities come and visit my job location and designers i'm not gonna say who they are because i don't know if i can um but i have like a whole bunch of photos with them really cool and they would always like choose me to like be their guide i guess so that was like really cool and like <laughs> one of the person people i didn't know who they were they're actually on youtube um they're actually really big and i like didn't even know unfortunately my location was closed down but i was offered more positions in the city but with me going to school i just want to make sure i was focusing on my studies um number eight, 19 that was a like, long one number 19 my favorite vacationing spot is definitely aruba my family's been going there for years and it is definitely one happy island um it's great like we love it there um number 20 I'm gonna have to do so much editing. Sorry, Diane. <laughs> um, number 19. I feel like there's like so many cool things about myself, but like, of course, like this is like an icebreaker thing and you can never think. Still thinking. All right, number 19, one of my all time favorite movies besides The Star is Born because of Lady Gaga, obviously, but my all time favorite movie and besides Harry Potter is definitely Titanic. I can sit there, I can sit there and watch it all day long on repeat i can say it word oh louis just to read louis vuitton anyway i can sit there and watch it on repeat every day i can s literally say any line um it's like kind of like a bad habit but i love it number 20 this is actually like a pretty cool one i am named after derek jeter um my name was supposed to be oh, nothing close to derek it was supposed to be really really Wait, wait, we just can't side really different and yeah, Derek Cheater. When he just came outside and I got like, ah. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm named for Derek Cheater. My parents are huge Yankee fans and um, there's like more history behind it, but I don't know if I should reveal it to you guys. There's like so much I can tell you, but I can't. Um, but yeah, so they really like the Yankees. Um, they've met Derek Cheater like multiple times. Um, if that's enough to tell you like that we're close with the Yankees I don't know how much I can tell you but yeah it's kind of cool um yeah I mean I guess that's it um there's probably more that I can tell you like just in general about myself but I just don't know right now I have to like make like maybe like a list that I'll just like put one like cool thing about me like every day and we can do like a video like that I mean I'll do like a month of Derek <sighs> anyway thanks for watching this <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and check out these videos right here. Make sure you are subscribing right here. I think it should be right here. And that's about it. Stay safe and be well, guys.